Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVT News. Oli the son of Nube is my name. And this time I decided that we discuss the South African issues or that we inform you about the pending uh, issues that are happening in South African politics. Uh, the latest being that politically, uh, the Umkonto Wesizwe party, known as, in short, the MK, uh, is taking the IEC or has already taken the IEC EC, which is the Independent Electoral Commission of South Africa, to court over their decision to bar uh, former president Jacob Zuma from standing in the next election. You will know that uh, the MK was last month notified uh, by the IEC that uh, former president Zuma cannot appear on their party's candidate list due to his previous contempt of court conviction. This follows... Uh, the conviction and sending to prison of Zuma uh, in uh, 2021 for failing to appear before the Zondo Commission, which was investigating the state capture allegations in which, in which uh, he was also mentioned uh, as a key actor. So uh, Umkonto Esizo says in their challenge that Zuma was imprisoned by the Constitutional Court without being afforded his constitutional rights to a free and fair trial and they are saying that uh, this can then not be used to buy him from standing or being included in the party's list you'll know that uh, former president zuma is the main personality behind the mk he is the most well-known person who is fronting this newly uh, uh, launched political party which is also being taken to court by the african national Con congress over the name and logo of the party which the ANC which is the ruling party led by President Cyril Ramaphosa claims belong to it. So the South African constitution as you would know uh, states that any person who is convicted of an offence and sentenced to more than 12 months imprisonment without the option of a fine is disqualified automatically from standing for public office but the MK uh, is arguing that these proceedings can only be described as civil proceedings that merely invoke a criminal section or sanction, which is the 15-month sentence. Uh, party spokesperson Samuel Ndela, uh, speaking to the African, I mean to the SAPC, uh, said President Zuma was incarcerated off the back of what would be Section 35 of the Constitution, where you ought to be before a judge and have a fair trial. He says President Zuma was incarcerated by a constitutional court without having been afforded his constitutional rights to a free, fair trial. Uh, so they say they cannot necessarily label this as a criminal case. And they say that all that Zuma did was content of uh, all that Zuma did was contempt of court, and that is not a criminal case. Uh, they say it's more of a civil matter. And the IEC Act refers to a criminal matter. That's what Ndela said. So the MK is appealing that decision to bar Zuma from standing as a candidate on the party's list. The court case is ongoing. We'll keep our ears on the ground. And then we will, uh, of course, keep you informed on what uh, has been the judgment of the court. And you'll also know that we're also following another case in which the ANC is taking the MK to court. You know that the ANC wanted the MK deregistered, uh, saying that it was using its name and local, but the IEC won that particular case in which it was against the ANC and said that the ANC took its time uh, to take this matter to court and therefore the time it lapsed on which the MK could be deregistered. So these are pending court cases that we are following and we will keep you informed. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. Thank you.